Now, you can clearly start to see the ripple effect of those decisions from one error, from one engineering error that occurred at the Panama Canal. There is no guarantee that this cargo will arrive at an agreed upon delivery time wherever the customer was expecting those vessels. And even if they go on to pay millions of dollars, how long, how soon are they going to cross the canal? Now, because of all of these unanswered questions, shippers, automobile parts shippers, energy shippers, seasonal goods shippers were then looking for alternative routes to boycott the Panama Canal. And eventually, they settled for a route known as the Swiss Canal. And the thing about going through the Swiss Canal is that it will add 14 extra days of sailing. So if, for instance, your shipment is supposed to, if going through the Panama Canal takes 30 days on sea, you now have to add an extra 14 days on it. So that makes it 44 days that your shipment may likely be on sea if that vessel decides to go through the Swiss Canal. 